Hey guys, so today I am doing a ice pop video and I'm going to teach you how to make some really good watermelon ice pops that are good for you and yeah. Okay, so if you hear any voices upstairs with my dad, he talks really loud. Some really watermelon -y good ice pops and all you need is some ice pop makers or um, what are these called? You could also make drinks out of these and smoothies. I like to make them out of ice pops. So um, yeah. And all you're gonna need is some watermelon or whatever fruit you like, and I'm just gonna cut it up into just little pieces, just like chop all over. I mean, so wait one second. So then, it doesn't really matter on the size of these, cause look, there's like got the circle ones because I like circle ice pops. They were like a dollar fifty at Target, so it's not really good. Oh, I, I forgot to mention. Thank you. I forgot what website it is. It was on Google. Um, how to make yummy ice pops homemade so whatever website that is thank you for you know providing the information so all you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to take one out take one out. i took the blue one out and i'm missing one of them so i'm only going to make three ice pops so then you're going to take a fork and you're going to scoop it or spoon would be easier you're gonna put, put it in there. Uh, it's gonna take a while, probably. These are gonna, it looks so good, and I haven't tried it yet, so I'm just gonna do this as. I haven't tried making these yet, so. Whatever they turn out to be, they turn out to be. I think I tried, but like a couple of years ago. I forgot what the results were, but. Just one more scoop of a couple of them. Okay. So now that's all good. And you're almost at your first thing. And you're going to take some water. I'm just going to use bottled water. It doesn't matter what you use. Cap water, whatever. So then you're going to pour some water in there. So this is what it looks like. You're just going to pour some water in there. Okay, that's good so that the fruit sticks together. And then you're just going to stick this back in there. And you're just gonna make the rest of them. I'm gonna make more. And so that'll be really easy to do. So I'm just gonna put some fruit in here. You know. And when we're done, we're going to put this in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever. Um, set if you have like a setting timer for like like I do on my um, freezer, it tells you how many minutes goes by, and um, it's free it's freezing. I got a new freezer, and oh wait, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, I s okay. So just put if you have a timer on your freezer, put it on for 15 or 20 minutes and put it on to the highest temperature, I mean, coldest temperature in your freezer. That's what I'm saying. It, it kind of confused me, you probably for it because it kind of confused me. So, I'm just gonna put some more in there. Mm, this looks really good. Maybe 30 minutes, it doesn't really matter. I don't know why I'm going from like one conversation to another, I'm like all back down. Okay, that's good. Put a little bit more water in there. There we go. And just stick it. If you hear or like see little pieces of watermelon crunching up, it's okay. Because you know, it's going to form into a nice piece. And if you don't, if you don't have these, you could always use like a cup that's like this and take like, um, and eaten already or like if you have popsicle sticks like plain ones you could use that if you like because that's another option that you could use just in case you don't have these and you can't if you're not it's not available to go out to the store right now okay oh sorry <sighs> and then you're gonna do the next one doesn't this look really good also you don't have to use watermelon you could just do the same exact steps with any fruit of your choice or any like vegetable or whatever i don't recommend vegetable i recommend fruit because like you know 
I never had a vegetable pop. Unless you have and they're good, you can try it. It doesn't really matter. It's like my friend made a tomato one. She liked it. Kinda sounds crazy. Tomato. I wish I had an come here. You know, a lot of people on YouTube are making like a summer series, so maybe I should do that. I'm gonna make a summer series. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna call it. Summer fun for everyone. Okay, and then yeah. So I'm just gonna run and put these in the freezer for a couple of minutes, and I'll check right back into you in about 15 minutes. Also, you could just eat the rest of the watermelon that you have left over. I'm probably just going to put it back in the refrigerator because I can't eat that much watermelon. Just suck in some water. It's like air coming on it and it tastes like watermelon. Okay, I'm going to go put these in the freezer, like I said, like 10 minutes ago. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I just. Yeah, so I just found out that you need to keep them in the refrigerator for about three hours. So it's not 15 minutes or 90 minutes. So I won't be showing you what they look like when they come out. Just make sure to keep them in for three hours. And so far, this is the last process that I'm going to show you. Maybe I'll videotape it. I'm not sure. This is the last process I'm going to show you. And they were in here for about 45 minutes. So they're still, it can still squish it a little bit. So I looked back on the website that provided me the information and it's in um, to put it in there for three hours all right so thank you so much for watching please comment rate and subscribe